اشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله اما بعد فاعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم This is study number 21 of the Ramadan daily Quran studies for the year 2023 compiled by Zahid Aziz for the Ahmadiyya Anjuman Ishaat e Islam Lahore UK The topic of this study 21 is continuing with angels it is about their functions According to the Holy Quran the most prominent function of the angel in the spiritual realm is the bringing down of divine revelation or the communication of divine messages to the prophets The prophet not only sees the angel but also hears his voice and the angel to him therefore is a reality This was the universal experience of humanity through their great religious figures in all ages. As the angel is an immaterial being, the prophet sees him sometimes in the shape of a human being and sometimes in other forms. According to the Holy Quran, the angel who brought revelation to the holy prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is known by the name of gabriel the arabic form of which is jibril gabriel is also is also mentioned in the quran as ruhul amin meaning the faithful spirit and ruhul qudus or the holy spirit Gabriel or the faithful spirit or the holy spirit is said to have revealed the Quran to the holy prophet Muhammad The revelation to prophets who appeared before the holy prophet Muhammad is said in the holy Quran to have been granted to them in a similar manner to the holy prophet Angels also brought revelation to other righteous servants of God who were not prophets as for example the Quran says about Mary Maryam the mother of Jesus is qalatil malaikatu ya maryam o inna allah hastafake wa taharake wa istafake ala nisail alamin the translation of this is And when the angel said, "O oh Mary, surely Allah has chosen you and purified you, and chosen you above the women of the world," chapter three, verse forty-two. Angels generally are said to bring revelation to righteous Muslims, as stated in the Holy Quran. The Quran says in this connection in allazina qalu rabbana allah sumastakamu tatanazzalu alaihimul malaikatu alla takhafu wa la takhzanu wa abshiru bil jannati allati kuntum tuwadun The translation of which is as to those who say our lord is allah and then continue in the right way the angels descend upon them saying do not fear nor grieve and receive good news of the garden which you were promised chapter 41 verse 30 angels also strengthen the righteous servants of god prophets as well as others and give them comfort in trials and afflictions Jesus Christ is mentioned in the Quran as being strengthened with the holy spirit 
and the believers generally are said to be strengthened with the Holy Spirit as the Quran says about them these are they into whose hearts he has impressed faith and strengthened them with the spirit from himself chapter 58 verse 22 it was in this sense that is to say to strengthen the believers that the angels were sent to help them in their struggle against the unbelievers as in this verse when you sought the aid of your lord so he answered you i will assist you with a thousand of the angels chapter 8 verse 9 the holy quran itself explains why the angels were sent it says and allah made it only a good news for you and that your hearts might be at ease thereby Chapter 3, verse 126, and chapter 8, verse 10. It was through the strengthening of the believers' hearts that the angels worked. Angels pray for people in this life. As the Holy Quran says, وَالْمَلَائِكَةُ يُسَبِّهُنَا بِهَمْدِ رَبِّهِمْ وَيَسْتَغْفِرُونَ لِمَنْ فِي الْأَرْضِ أَلَا إِنَّ اللَّهَ هُوَ الْغَفُورُ الرَّحِيمُ The translation of this is The angels celebrate the praise of their Lord and ask forgiveness for those on earth. Now surely Allah is the forgiving, the merciful. Chapter 42, verse 4 Five. Those on earth include both the believer and the unbeliever. And while this prayer by the angels is all comprehensive, it grows stronger in the case of believers. For them, angels pray as follows, as stated in the Holy Quran. Our Lord, you embrace all things in mercy and knowledge. So protect those who turn to you and follow your way make them enter the gardens of perpetuity which you have promised them and such of their fathers and their wives and their offspring as are good and guard them from evil chapter 40 verses 7 to 9 as regards the holy prophet muhammad the angels bless him, as stated in the Quran, as follows: Inna Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna lan nabi ya yuhalazina manu sallu alaihi wasallamu taslima, which translates as: Surely Allah and His angels bless the Prophet. O you who believe call for blessings on him and salute him with a becoming salutation chapter 33 verse 56 thus the angel's connection with a person grows stronger as he advances in righteousness as regards people generally the angels pray for their forgiveness so that punishment of their evil deeds may be averted as regards the faithful, they lead them from darkness into light, as stated in chapter 33, verse 43, and thus enable them to make progress spiritually. And as regards the Prophet, وسلم, they bless him and are thus helpful in advancing his cause in the world. The different functions of angels in the spiritual world are connected either with the awakening of the spiritual life in humans or its advancement and progress. This is why faith in angels is required along with a faith in God. Faith in angels means that there is a spiritual life for man and that he must develop that life by working according to the promptings of the angel. 
It means that every good suggestion occurring in one's heart, and such is the, is the suggestion of the angel, must be accepted and acted upon because it leads to the spiritual development of man. This is the end of study 21. بارك الله لنا ولكم في القرآن الأزيم ونفعنا وإياكم بالآيات وذكر الحكيم إنه تعالى جواد كريم ولكم برر روف رحيم